Hello everyone! So a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial on the glitch effect on my Insta capture video. So here's a quick overview of the effect. So I'll assume that you guys already know how to use After Effects and I'll also provide the files in the description. So here I have provided the background and the building layer. Let's create a comp using the background. So here, let's create a comp and then put the building above the background. So basically the effect is a fractal noise that we use as a track mat of the building. What we need to do is create a new solid. Let's rename it fractal and the color doesn't really matter. So click on OK and then on FX and presets type fractal noise and it's right under noise and grain. So apply fractal noise onto the solid layer. On the fractal noise settings, on noise type, choose block, and then complexity, tone it down to one. So on evolution, press alt, and then click on the stopwatch at the same time. And on the expression bar, type time star 800. The number here will determine the speed of the animation. So if you play it back, this is the animation of the fractal noise. And then here go on transform and scale down the effect a little bit. So let's say 42%. Choose your building layer and under track mat here. If you can't see it, just toggle switches and then track mat, select luma mat fractal. There you have it. This is the basic effect. We want the, uh, the building to be solid at first and then at the end disappear. So let's enable the visibility of the fractal layer. Everything that is white is opaque and everything that is black is transparent. So our goal here at the beginning is to make it all white and then slowly fade in into this animation and then at the end fade to black. Go to 2 seconds and then add the keyframe on brightness and press U to show all the keyframes. Then go back at the beginning, increase the brightness to let's say 106. As you can see it fades from white to the animation and then let's go to 8 seconds add the new keyframe and then go all the way at the end and now we decrease the brightness so it's completely black so let's say at minus 100 so now let's turn off the visibility let's play it back the building starts glitching out and then it disappears so you can do more you can let's say add some glow to it I will select the fractal layer in the building layer I'll just change the color to let's say orange so I can keep track of it and then Control D to duplicate and then put it back down here and change those to let's say green and here on fractal I'll just change the speed so open up the fractal layer go to fractal noise evolution and change the timing to let's say 500 there you go and then on the building below, let's add some glow. And here, let's change the color A to say this blue and color B to a greenish blue. There you go. And then glow colors to AB colors. And then glow threshold, tone it down to let's say 37% and then if you play it back you see that building is going and lastly what will put the effect to life is twitch but this step is not really required but it does look cool so let's select all the layers pre-comp it okay and then Search for Twitch. Twitch is a plugin from Video Copilot. So what we want to do is we want to enable slide 
and then go on operator controls slide slide RGB split put it down to 100 and slide amount let's turn it down to let's say 2 so let's start the effect at 2 at 2 seconds create a keyframe and set this to 0 move up 1 frame move the slide amount to let's say 1 so it starts moving and then at 8 seconds create a new keyframe actually let's press U add the keyframe and then move it all the way to the end and change the slide amount to let's say 25 and then this is how it will look so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you like those videos make sure to subscribe and leave a like and if you have any suggestions make sure to leave a comment see you next time